If you've plateaued in your weight loss plan try these simple expert approved tricks that boost metabolism and burn fat, no crazy diets or weird workouts required. 1. Build a better breakfast. It's been called the most important meal of the day and I certainly agree with that. The purpose of eating breakfast is to give your body so much needed energy after a long night of sleep and fasting. When you wake up in the morning your body is most in need of a little healthy carbohydrate to get your brain going. You want to start your day off feeling energized and focused rather than tired and distracted. The key to a good start is eating a good breakfast, not just drinking coffee and the benefits go far beyond the good start. Eating breakfast has been linked with better weight control better food choices throughout the day and improved ability to learn. For a good breakfast you need a source of fiber from whole grain. Fruit, vegetable, or nuts a source of protein from eggs, meat, beans, or nuts and ideally a little bit of healthy fat from avocado. 2. Introduce a daily calorie deficit. Perhaps the most crucial body factor in any weight loss plan is to be in a calorie deficit. That is simply to eat fewer calories than you require for your current body weight. Eat fewer than this every day, and it's likely that you'll drop weight. However you need to do this in a safe range, a 500 calorie deficit on your daily needs is recommended by the VDA. You can use a calorie counter to find out your daily intake needs to be in a calorie deficit. It's both realistic and not bad for your health. 3. Prioritize real whole foods. Make sure that everything you're eating is whole, as in nothing processed or packaged. Since salt is a preservative these are the foods that are highest in sodium, something to keep in mind when planning your meals. Plan on making sure that all items you choose are fresh that means filling up on fresh fruits and veggies whole grains low-fat dairy and lean protein. 4. Increase activity. The more you exercise the more energy demands you'll be placing on your body. If you're already in deficit of or even slightly above your calorie needs the likelihood is you'll lose weight if you exercise intensively for three or four times a week. Different types of exercise put different strains on the body and it really depends on how heavy you are already as to how much you'll burn via exercise. The simple rule is the more intense your form of exercise the more likely you are to burn calories faster the more likely you are to get into calorie deficit. 5. Start your day with a cup of coffee. Caffeine is a natural diuretic and an excellent source of antioxidants which protect your cells from damage. You can have up to 400 milligrams, about a venti Starbucks coffee, daily according to the 2015 Dietary Guidelines for Americans. Coffee is a chemical juggernaut quickly absorbed and distributed throughout the body, affecting everything from brain power and eyesight to digestion and bowel function. However you take yours, cold brew, espresso, pour over air plunged, coffee affects your entire system. Not much of a coffee drinker. Tea is also a natural diuretic, and types of herbal tea such as dandelion or fennel root can also lend a hand. In fact, when a recent study compared the metabolic effect of green tea, in extract, with that of a placebo researchers found that the green tea drinkers burned about 70 additional calories in a 24-hour period. 6. Low Sodium Diets Low Sodium Diets not only can help lower blood pressure, but in some cases, can aid weight loss, especially when water retention is a problem. People who are overweight and want to lose weight may also choose to watch their sodium intake to reduce future health risks. People who reduce their salt intake may experience an initial weight loss that is rapid but limited. Sodium causes a person to retain water which adds to body weight according to Diets in Review an online resource about healthy eating. Though someone who begins a low-sodium diet may be pleasantly surprised to see a seemingly large weight loss at first these results typically end once the eater returns to a regular pattern of eating. 7. Take a set of 5-pound weights. It's a one-time investment you'll never regret. Here's why, strength training builds lean muscle tissue, which burns more calories, at work or at rest, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The more lean muscle you have, the faster you'll slim down. How do you start strength training? Try some push-ups or a few squats or lunges. 
Use your free weights to perform simple biceps curls or triceps pulls right in your home or office. Do these exercises three to four times per week, and you will soon see a rapid improvement in your physique. 8. Eat spicy foods. Many studies over the years have found out that certain spices like red chili pepper, ginger, and black peppers increase your basal metabolic rate by raising your body temperature, which causes you to burn more calories and is a great way of helping your weight loss plan. Spicy foods not only decrease your appetite, they may also help increase calorie burning. According to the Chemical Senses Review the spice ups your body temperature, which may increase the amount of energy you expend. Sprinkle a little cayenne pepper on your morning eggs or make a spicy cottage cheese, and serve it with slices of cucumber and celery. Add a slice or two of the fresh pepper to your pot of black beans to spice it up and use for soup, salad or mash into a dip. The fresh pepper can also add a little kick to your rice. Add dried cayenne pepper to tomato sauce chili or stew to enhance flavor and to get the weight loss benefits. 9. Drink water. You've probably heard it more than once, drinking more water will help you lose more weight. But does water really help weight loss? The short answer is yes, drinking water helps boost your metabolism, cleanse your body of waste, and acts as an appetite suppressant. Also, drinking more water helps your body stop retaining water, leading you to drop those in extra pounds of water weight. If you really want the water you drink to help you lose weight, you should follow the 8 rule recommended by most nutritionists, drink 8 8 ounce glasses of water per day for weight loss, and to maintain an ideal weight. You might need to drink more water if you exercise a lot or sweat heavily, or less water if you drink other beverages like herbal tea, make sure they are decaffeinated. 10. Sleep. Getting your 8-hour shut-eye is just as important as your diet and exercise regime when it comes to weight loss. It's true being short on sleep can really affect your weight. While you weren't sleeping your body cooked up a perfect recipe for weight gain.